from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, May the 23rd, 2023. Shots were fired at an Israeli vehicle in the West Bank last night. The IDF said the attack happened between the Tapuach and Migdalim junctions. There were no injuries. Damage to the vehicle was detected. The IDF said its forces were searching the area for suspects. CNN's Christiane Amanpour yesterday said she was sorry for mischaracterizing the deliberate shooting attack of three members of the D family last month. On May the 11th, Amanpour, during an interview with Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Mohammed Shdaya, was speaking about recent violence and said we also have the mother of two sisters, Israeli British sisters. They were killed in a shootout and now the mother has died of her injuries. Honest reporting picked up on the comment and launched a campaign demanding an apology from the veteran journalist saying a shootout is two sides firing at each other. A mother and her two daughters were shot at close range by Palestinian terrorists saying, Christian Amanpour, you owe a grieving family an apology. Rabbi Leo D., the father of the two slain sisters and husband of the mother, echoed Honest Reporting's call for an immediate apology. And on her show yesterday, Amanpour offered one. On April 10th, I referred to the murders of a British-Israeli family, Lucy D. and Maya and Rina D., the wife and daughters of Rabbi Leo D. During that live interview, I misspoke and said that they were killed in a shootout instead of a shooting. I have written to Rabbi D. to apologize and make sure that he knows that we apologize for any further pain that may have caused him. The Times of Israel reported today that Rabbi D. told Israel's Channel 12 it was too little, too late. I don't accept it. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was formally invited yesterday to visit the United Arab Emirates for the COP28 Climate Summit, the UN Climate Change Conference taking place in Dubai this November. This will mark Netanyahu's first official visit as prime minister to the Emirates. His office said he met with the UAE ambassador to Israel, Mohammed Mahmoud al Khaja, yesterday and received from him a letter from UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan and UAE Vice President and Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, officially inviting him. Al Khaja also met with and presented an invitation to the summit to Israel's president, Isaac Herzog. Holocaust survivor and advocate Chaim Rut has died. Rut was the founder of the commemorative Unto Every Person There Is a Name project at Yad Vashem World Holocaust Remembrance Center in Jerusalem and was chairman of the Committee for the Recognition of Jews Who Rescued Jews During the Holocaust. His son, Ambassador, Deputy Director General at Israel's Foreign Ministry, David Rut announced his father's passing today, calling him a man who held a deep love for humanity. He was a Holocaust survivor who, while never forgetting the past, always kept striving towards creating a better world. Chaim Root was 91. The governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, is in Israel this week on an economic development trip. He met with Prime Minister Netanyahu and with President Herzog, reiterating his commitment to fighting back against anti-Semitism and exploring new avenues for economic growth with Israel, meeting with Israeli companies that do business in Georgia. Kemp and his wife also visited Yad Vashem, calling it one of the most moving experiences in our time here. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, May the 23rd at 7.30, actress Billy Boulay talks about playing Anne Frank in the new limited TV series A Small Light, based on the true story of Meep Geese, who risked her life to hide Frank's family. At 8, author and Sassoon descendant Joseph Sassoon shares the untold story of the gilded Jewish Baghdadi Sassoons, who built a vast empire that reached across three continents and ultimately changed the destinies of nations. At 9, author Juliana Mayo is on L'Chaim. At 10, the late Alaska Airlines navigator Elgin Long, 
who helped save thousands of Yemenite Jews brought to Israel in 1949, is honored. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, May the 23rd, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.